On October 1st, I got a message from a few rail buffs in Arkansas that something God want to see was coming down the Union Pacific Pine Bluff subdivision. It was the Louisiana and Northwest number 55. After the LNW was acquired by Patriot Rail, 55 was the last of the original locomotives on the LNW property. This time it wouldn't be in its red and yellow paint scheme though, but instead a fresh coat of RJ Corman red with a new number, number 550. I made way for McNeil, Arkansas, the LNW interchange site with the Union Pacific. I thought it was fitting to see it come through the town where it worked for many years one final time. The now RJ Corman number 550 was heading for Taylor, Texas on Manifest MNLLF. This locomotive was originally built in the 1950s for the Illinois Central as a high hood GP9. The IC would chop the nose and rebuild it into a GP11 where it would later be acquired by the Louisiana and Northwest. After serving the LNW for years, it was no longer needed and stored behind their engine facility. The summer of 2019 came along and Patriot Rail would finally send the 55 off. Flash forward to the present, and R.J. Corman has acquired the GP-11 and has given it a new look and number. At the siding called Lumber, just west of Waldo, Arkansas, we'd get our third and last run by of the old 55. Of interesting note though, the old searchlight signals still stand here. I hope you enjoyed this short video of the former LNW-55. This engine will always be part of my childhood memories and it is good to see it being put to use instead of meeting the scrapper's torch. As always, thanks for watching.